Yo, first video. This is kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but basically the reason why I'm starting this channel is to document my Air Force journey, you know, and see what it's talking about. Cause I see a lot of videos about the Air Force and the military, but I'm gonna give y'all my my personal experience with it. So this first video is just gonna be about MEPS, what I went through, and then basically how everything went down. All right, let's get into it. Yo, we in Charlotte. I just got the, the hotel. Today we're not really doing nothing, but I guess it's just a chill day. Just ate dinner. All they had was hot dogs and fries and nasty ass fruitcake. I mean, I say that. I'm gonna have to blur that out because I need my videos monetized. But them nasty old fruitcakes, bro. Don't, don't eat fruitcakes, don't ever eat them. But I guess today is a chill day since I already did my ass up and all that. So that's what the hotel looked like, though. I might have already inserted the clip, but. Not bad, not bad. I do got a roommate, but he cool, he black, so we rock with him. But I'll hit y'all back in a little bit. Yo, we back at the crib now. So now I can actually walk you guys through what happened. Now it's been a week since I recorded that last clip because I've been lazy and I literally just got out of bed to make this video because I'm bored. But I'm gonna just walk you guys through it from the morning of MEPS to after that. So if you already took your ass bath, then all you're gonna have to do is just go to the hotel, literally do whatever you wanna do, and then wake up and then you got MEPS. So I woke up around 4.15 because we had to leave at five. That gives you enough time to you know brush your teeth, take a shower if you want to, do all that other stuff and get ready for breakfast because you want to make sure you eat before because they are going to be drawing blood so you want to make sure you don't pass out because of lack of food or anything like that so but when you get to the map so when you get to the map center it's going to be security and basically it's basically like if you've ever been on a plane or anything like that it's something like that you just take all your things off and put it in a little scanner or whatever you want to call it and then you just get through the security you meet up with your it's going to be a recruiter there not the recruiter that you came with well, it depends on your situation. With my situation, there was no recruiter that I came with. It was somebody else at the MEPS facility that was already there waiting for us. But basically, you're just gonna meet up with them and he's gonna tell you how it's gonna go and then he's gonna send you back and you're gonna get started. Now, me personally, what I'm gonna say first is like, I showed up with sweatpants, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even know that you couldn't wear sweatpants to MEPS because my recruiter didn't tell me. But make sure you wear khakis or jeans or they will not let you do anything. And you're gonna have to be sent home and then you got and if you didn't drive you got to wait for everybody else to get you home and that's it get done sorry and then that's gonna be that's gonna be hell just know that but basically it's just a bunch of tests and stuff oh yeah and one thing that i will say is make sure you don't pack a lot bro you don't need anything if you're only gonna be there for one night literally just pack one pair, two night clothes and then a pair in the morning that you want to wear the maps which is going to be like your dress clothes basically like dress like you're coming for an interview if you're not staying for more than a night don't pack all that extra stuff because it's not that deep i packed a, i put i packed a lot for some reason don't ask me why i was just being safe but i didn't need none of that i just needed like literally one pair of clothes for the next day and then that was it now it's really not that much the maps as you would think like literally it's like six five or six categories i can't remember how much but you got the hearing test, you got the breathalyzer, the drug test, which is the urine. What else do you got? The doctor exam, and then the eyesight. Let me know if I'm missing any, but that's all I can remember right now. But those are all the tests, and literally, it's straightforward. If you've ever been to a doctor before, you'll, you'll see. But the only, I was kind of scared for the blood draw, I'm not going to lie, but like literally, depending on who you have, they'll literally talk you through it. Like, it's literally not that bad at all. I didn't even feel it, bro. It was over like just like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you're worried about needles and stuff, don't even look at it. Don't worry about it. You're not going to feel it. The more you worry about it, the more it's going to hurt, believe it or not. Now, the way my, my map, sorry, I'm for some of my, but the way my maps was set up is like, it's like five or six different sections, like I just told y'all. And you can go to them in whichever order you want, like, I know I did like my hearing first and then after that I did my eyesight and then after that I did my blood and then my urine. But the last thing has to be the doctor though because they need all those things to see if you're qualified. So you just got to do all that and then once you do all that, you're literally, it's literally it. I'm going to tell you all about the doctor's exam though right now. The doctor exam. Now this is the thing that most people fail on when they go to MEPS. And it's probably because they undershare with the recruiter and they overshare with the doctor. If you did not tell your recruiter, do not tell that doctor. They're going to try to scare you and be like, oh, yeah, we know everything, blah, blah, blah. If you don't tell us, you're going to jail, which may be true, depending on how severe your case is. But if you didn't tell your recruiter, don't tell the doctor. They won't say nothing. Unless it's like something like you smoking and stuff like that, and they have it on record. And obviously, 
know what I'm saying? You got to tell your recruiter that. So just tell the recruiter everything that you can or everything that you need to. So that way, when you get to the doctor, they'll already know everything. You won't have to tell them. And that way you have all your waivers, all of everything that you need. Right. Because if you don't, then you mess yourself up. And actually, I just remember I heard a story about this one girl. Right. This is what the bus driver like. I took a shuttle there. I didn't drive because I'm not going to waste my gas. But. I took a shuttle there and the bus driver literally told us it was this girl that failed because she told the doctor that she was dropped on her head at two months old and she had to go get a waiver from that hospital all the way back to when she was two months old which took forever and then she couldn't qualify until she brought it back so it's just like stuff like that bro it's just like don't tell them nothing that they don't need to know like if you scratch your, if you if you sprain your or if you've like sprained your ankle in the third grade and it hasn't affected you since don't even tell them bro because it's like what is the what's the point you know what i'm saying like you don't they don't need to know that and they won't know that unless you tell them and then they're gonna ask you to go get a doctor's note saying your ankle is good or they're gonna make you do an examination saying that something like that you know what i'm saying so just keep keep that stuff to yourself bro now if you're a guy it's the awkward part that everybody talks about but it's really not that bad i promise you it's not that bad as crazy as it's gonna sound all you gotta do bro is just spread your cheeks and then it'll be done like really that's really all it is it sounds crazy I promise you, it doesn't last more than three seconds. All you gotta do is just, and then you done, literally. Now, I mean, that was that was really a quick, a really quick explanation and a quick video because I mean, it's, it's, it's literally a medical exam. It's not really a lot to it. Now, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments and I'll answer them because I really don't have nothing to do. So I will be active, I'll be answering. And just make sure, like I said, just tell your recruiter everything. If you don't tell your recruiter everything and the doctors find out, and other people find out, they're going to disqualify you. And then you're not going to be able to go to the military. Depending on your situation, though, you can still, like, if you don't tell them something they find out and it's not severe, then you'll just have to come back and then get your waivers and stuff and then you'll be good. But just tell your recruiter everything just to be safe. So that way you'll be good and you can just zoom through the process. Also, something I forgot to mention, you will talk to, your, to the, the liaison. It's called a liaison? Liaison? liaison i don't know but you go to their office and basically you just talk with them and then like they try to set you up with your job and if they can't set you up in that moment then you'll just go back to your recruiter and do it on your own with the recruiter obviously and then they'll give you your ship date and then set to go but like i said let me know if y'all got any questions comments and concerns i'm here to help this is just my first video so if it's if it looks crazy that's why you know what i'm saying i'm gonna learn as i go but this is just, I'm going to just start my journey. And I'm in the next video is probably going to be like what my job is, my ship date. And I'll just give y'all updates within that time so y'all can know what's going on and how the process goes. But anyways, stay blessed, stay safe until the next one.